healing. Healing can be such a process, right? There are some times where God will heal us instantly, right? He can, he can do things suddenly. He can do things just like that. Then there are also some things that he will take us through a process of healing because we can at times create these compartments, right, in which we will hide things because they're so traumatic to us. It's so painful to us. It's so, you know, it just creates so much anguish within us that we don't want to deal with it. So we create these compartments. We try to drown it out. We try to block it out. We try to lock it away. But the thing with that is the enemy will keep clawing at that thing until that door busts us wide open and it combusts. And what every and all things that we were trying to hide, it will trickle over into our now state, which would create this whole havoc in our in our life. But the beautiful thing I said again about God is that he wants to heal you. He wants to make us completely whole. And I say that to say because last week I ended up going to our youngest daughter's school to read. They have these days in which the parents could come in and read to the children. And my daughter wanted me to come in, so I came in and I read one of her favorite books. And first of all, just walking in and seeing her face light up was like, oh, oh my God, it melted my heart. And, you know, these little children, they are so excited sitting around they're so attentive you know you get into character reading these books and it was such a great great experience and you know towards the end my daughter jumps up jumps in my lap and she's like thank you mommy I love you and I'm like I love you too and I ended up leaving and just in the car ride back home I just could not stop smiling now it was it was a smile from the depths of my soul right that just came up and and I just really realized that this was like a childhood smile that that just came to the surface because, you know, I come from a single parent home where my mom, it was my brother, my sister and I, me makes three, and my mom worked her butt off. She was an amazing mother, still is to this day, and I'll continuously brag about my mom because she's a wonderful mother. I aspire to be such a great mother to my children as she is to us. Yet, you know, she had to work like one to three jobs. I've seen her do that. And I didn't, she, she didn't have the time allotted to her to come to school events and again, for the life of me, I do not know why they had these school events during working hours, but they did and she couldn't come. So as a, again, I knew as a child that my mom had to work, she had to provide for us. So I had that understanding, but you know, as a child, you still long for your parent to be able to be there because you see other kids' parents showing up and you're like, oh, I wish my mom could be there. And not even knowing at that time, but that created this door for rejection to creep in for because not that again like I said I understood she had to work but then I I made up in my mind that I wouldn't look for anyone to come because you know people can't people ain't gonna be there for you people can't be there for you and not that I was my mom but this is how the enemy is so clever right he's so tricky that I just that was my mindset like I'm not gonna ask nobody for nothing I'm not gonna look for nobody to do nothing for me because they're never gonna come through it's always gonna fall through anyway so just don't even you know if you don't look for it you know what you won't be disappointed and that's how that thing built up into my adulthood where again I was just like I didn't really need to depend on anybody I always try to do everything on my own and you can you can imagine how this created such this blockage this barricade and God, he was chiseling, God has been chiseling and breaking that thing down, thank you, Lord. But just going into my daughter's classroom and being able to be there for her during that time and and her asking and me showing up was just like, it healed me. It healed me. It really did. It healed me. It, it kind of put that cherry on the top of that healing that God has been working on me for a while. And I thank God for that. I thank God that that he loves me so much that he would not he would no longer let me continue to go about life with this mindset because even when i was saying to myself oh yeah girl you got over it you're good you're good there's still a little bit of residue still there and god is like i got the perfect thing that's going to heal that and he did and i thank god for that so i really wanted to encourage you all who are who's dealing with any affliction, pain, trauma that you don't want to deal with head on, allow God, allow God to do it. Allow God to do a work in you because he wants us to be whole. He wants us to be healed. He does not want us to be walking around here deformed, right? You're strong in one area and you're weak in another. You're, you're healed in one area and you're, you know, you're not healed in another. He wants us whole. And I really pray in the name of Jesus that today that you would seek the Lord and ask the Lord to really go down deep and see what you have suppressed. See what you have trying to build 
a, a solid foundation on when it's something still rocky there because it is not healed. Trauma is always going to create a rocky foundation for you. You, We have to heal. We got to heal. And not saying that you can't get work done. Not saying that you can't be usable for God in that state because, my God, God will use He'll use the foolish things to find the wise. God will use you in any state that, you know, he'll use you in that state. Yet he still wants to heal you. Yet he, he's healing others, but he wants to heal you too. And I declare and decree that healing will start for you today. I declare and decree that you will trust God enough to allow him into that sensitive part of your life, into that sensitive area of things that you never, you don't want to talk about no more. Allow God, allow God in and watch him do a work in you. Watch him do a healing in you today. Starting today, in Jesus' name I pray, amen.